Jim. And I want to thank everybody for joining us. My name is Dan Messerschmidt. I'm the National Sales Director here at JDS Industries. And uh, myself, along with a bunch of other very talented people, much more talented than me, uh, are happy to bring you this webinar. We're going to have a lot of fun today. We're going to be going over a lot of different things. Um, you know, the pandemic has really challenged us all to kind of, of um, reach out and connect in different ways. And this webinar is really, um, you know, one of those examples of us just trying to reach out and spend time with customers and interact. We do a lot of this stuff at trade shows when we travel around, but that really hasn't been happening very much, as you well know. So um, I know it certainly takes some effort to uh, carve some time out of your day to, to do these kind of things, but we're going to work hard to be sure that this is uh, a real value. These online resources and marketing tools that we're going to be talking about are some of the things that are um, we're asked about a lot and uh, things that customers are really coming to us for. We have done uh, seminars like this uh, live and at uh, trade shows. If anyone was at APA at, um, in Vegas last year, uh, we did part of this there, and it's just always very well received. And again, right now we're getting a lot of calls from people, and my sales team is interacting with a lot of customers looking for new ways to pivot their business and move and, and find new markets and find new sources of revenue. So that's all what we're going to be talking about today is how we're going to help you guys do that and have some fun. Um, I'm coming to you live from uh, our headquarters in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And uh, just down the hall, we've got a panel of experts that – uh, that are going to help us with some of this stuff. So um, our format today is going to be uh, kind of walking through um, a number of different videos. We've got five different um, sort of sections we're going to cover today. Um, and they're on your screen right now. It's product images and product templates, retail catalogs and websites, editable flyers, and uh, our fundraising program information. So these are all things that we're going to be going over. And the format will be that we're going to um, do a video of each of these, then we're going to come back, and then we're going to take questions from you guys. So as you're going through these videos, be thinking about questions that you have. Uh, the videos have a lot of information packed in them. We will be sending you all these videos, and, and if you miss anything in a video or anything today, we're going to be sending all the attendees uh, this information, so you'll have it again to look over and over. So um, that'll make it easy for you to not feel quite so pressured to get um, to take down every little, every little detail today, because we are going to cover a lot of ground. So. Um, as we're waiting for our last few people to kind of log in here, uh, we put together just kind of a fun poll that we want to throw up, and uh, hopefully you're seeing it on your screen right now. Once things get back to normal, where would you like to travel first? And I know that, that uh, you know, my life has a lot of travel in it, and I don't know why, but the people at work keep asking how my wife is doing while I'm not traveling, and I'm working hard not to take that as a personal insult, but... Um, yeah, we got a lot of people uh, plowing through this and, and uh, answering that question. And just something that uh, it's kind of been on, on uh, the minds of everyone around here and, and uh, as well as on, on the minds of everyone out there, too, is just where you're going to go and what you're going to do and how you're going to spend your time. So I just thought we'd kind of break the ice with that a little bit and get things rolling with, uh, with a little poll question. It looks like by a slight margin, people are going to go see family. That's great. Uh, some people want to get out and see the ocean. Uh, personally, I'm a mountain person, so uh, that's probably where, where my vote would go. But that's great. Everyone wants to go see family. And certainly, we've all been distanced from our families this year. And so uh, that'll be fun. Hopefully, you all get a chance to do that. So Appreciate everybody uh, participating in that. We're going to do another uh, quick poll at the very end, a little one-question poll like this at the very end of our day. But for now, why don't we kind of get rolling along and start getting into everything that we're going to be doing here today. So i got to close that out. And so we're going to start with product images. And this is an area we do get a lot of questions on. Where can I find an image for this? And where can I find an image for that? And I need an image for something I'm going to print. And I need an image for something online. And I need an image of something that is decorated. And I want an image that isn't decorated. And so JDS has thousands and thousands of images. So um, we're going to turn this over. This first video is going to be brought to us by Yvette. And so let's go ahead and, and watch Yvette's video. And then we'll come back together and take some questions. Hi, I'm Yvette, Senior Graphic Designer and Product Photographer at JDS Industries, here to tell you about our product images we make available to you, where to find them, and how to use them. Go to JDSIndustries.com, click on the dealer login. After you've entered your username and password, click on Marketing. You can use the link at the top of the page or this button here. 
either one will take you to the same place. Click on the Product Images and Templates box in the middle of the top row. For your convenience, the username and password are listed right here. You can copy and paste the login information or type it. If you type it, remember, it is case sensitive. Once you're logged in, you will see folders filled with useful information. We're looking for images, and that folder is right here. Click on it, and more folders will appear. One holds animated GIFs, and the other folder has product images. These PNG images can be used for print, as well as websites, social media, and emails. I'm going to suggest you start here. Product images are divided by catalog sections, with the exception of our Polar Camel products. They are kind of a big deal, and are located in a folder of their own. Most product images have both a blank version and a decorated version. If you want to narrow your search, type the name of a product in the search field located top right corner of the page. Once you find an image you need, click on the blue square. You will see options to download the image, get info, or share with someone. We've made thousands of images available to you. They're here for you to use. If you don't have a login to our website, call the number below. We'll gladly walk you through the quick and easy process of opening an account. Thanks again for watching. All right, thanks, Yvette. Uh, great video there. Again, um, just so you know, we'll be sending you all this information. We'll be sending you the links and everything. Uh, we always have our YouTube channel that has a lot of great videos on it and information on it. So um, I see Yvette's on our screen. Hey, Yvette, do you have um, a question or two that you get very commonly from, from our customers about product images? Um, yes, I do, Dan. Actually, uh, one of the most popular questions is, um, can I make the photos larger or smaller? Um, you can manipulate these photos any way you want through a design program. If you have um, the appropriate design software, you can utilize these photos however you see fit um, to do so. All right, and, and when you say um, appropriate design software, what are some of the examples of popular design software that people would use if they wanted to change those, those image sizes? Um, Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop is one of the most popular. Um, there are some free softwares out there. Um, these are not as um, easy to manipulate photos all the time. Um, they can also be manipulated somewhat in Illustrator or Corel. Um, that is somewhat limited. Photoshop is usually the most widely okay. used one. Great. Um, I see we have a question from Charles. It says, can you get font types? Um, we don't have any for download on the image site. Um, you can use Google and find free fonts. Um, you just need to make sure that you look through the legalities to see what their usages are. Uh, for the project that you're using them for. Okay. Um, we're going to take one more quick question uh, from Mary. Are there laserable images as well? Yes, we have both um, decorated image images and blank images for whatever projects you're working on. Um, if you want to take the blank images and add your own artwork to them, um, you can do so. Otherwise, we have all of our images with the personalization on them like they are shown in the catalog. Awesome, yeah, yeah, we get that question sometimes. Thanks for that, Yvette. Um, we are getting a few more questions in. I encourage you to go ahead and, and send those questions in. We're gonna move on to our next section just to keep things kind of moving. But like I said, all the questions that you submit, everybody that is in attendance is going to get all those questions and the answers. So please do submit your questions now or, or even later. So uh, next section we're gonna jump into is templates. And this is something that um, our customers are looking for. So now we're going to go to another quick video and I think Yvette is doing this one as well. And this one is on our templates. Hi, I'm Yvette, the Senior Graphic Designer at JDS Industries, here to tell you about the product templates you can download and use when personalizing JDS products for your customers. Let's get started. Go to JDSIndustries.com and click on Dealer Login. After you've entered your username and password, click on Marketing. You can use the link at the top of the page or this button here. Either one will take you to the same place. Click on the Product Images and Templates box in the middle of the top row. For your convenience, the username and password are listed right here. Once you're logged in, look for the folder labeled JDS Product Templates. 
go ahead and click on it. Here you'll find folders with templates for a wide range of products from acrylic awards to sublimation. Each one is sized to correctly show the area that may be personalized on that specific product. We've also included a file with instructions. It will be here anytime you need it. If you're looking for a specific product and you know the SKU, try the search field in the upper right corner. It will return a list of all the matched files, templates, and product images. Once you find the template you want to download, click the blue square and select Download. Our template files use the EPS extension. You will need Corel or Illustrator to open them. Save the templates to your computer or network. Using them as a guide helps you be more efficient in your product personalization. We hope these templates will help you personalize products more quickly and efficiently. If you don't have a login to our website, call the number below. We'll gladly walk you through the quick and easy process of opening an account. Thanks for watching. All right, another great video from Yvette. So thanks for doing that, Yvette. And yeah, templates are, are a very big deal. We have uh, customers that are asking about these all the time. And um, Yvette, what, uh, what's a common question you get in the graphics area about templates? Um, one question we get about the instructions, um, some folks click on it and it shows a preview and they cannot read it. Um, it is best to download the instructions and it will come up in a PDF format and then that will allow you to either put the percentage in to zoom it in as um, much as you need to to read it or you can use your command plus or control plus keys on your computer. Okay, so don't don't try to read it out on Exaval. Just download it, and then and then they can read it um, when they have it downloaded. Yes, correct. Awesome, good. Um, any other tips or tricks you got for us? Um, some people wonder if the templates are um, tapered in the EPS as um, the template to account for the curve and the taper of the cup, like say on our polar camels. Oh, sure. um, yes, they are. They are um, tapered so that um, you can easily follow the guide for the cup. Awesome. Uh, funny enough, I just saw uh, one of our attendees ask that question too, so that was perfect timing on that. So, Very good. Well, good. That's awesome. Yeah, those, those templates are huge time savers for people. I know I've been at uh, trade shows and uh, you know, Jerick and I were at a trade show and somebody said, geez, I wish you had templates. And we told them about all our templates and they were very, very happy. So it yeah. saves people a lot of, a lot of time. One more thing we do have too, we also have on our website, if you're looking at a particular product on our website, there is a link underneath the picture of that product um, that you can usually download the template for it as well. If you don't want to go to yeah. Exavault to find the it, templates. Yeah, that's true. I know I use that a lot because I, not being a graphic designer, I don't have all the graphic design software, but like you say, when you're on the website and you're looking at a product down underneath the pricing box, then there's a the little map that shows, you know, inventory in each warehouse. Then over at the right, there's a template right there. So that's another easy way to get it right from the shopping cart website. Correct. Awesome. Very good. Well, thanks, Yvette. We're going to go on to our next video here. And the next video is going to be about our retail catalogs and websites. And this is something we spent a lot of time on at, um, at trade shows is talking to people about this. So many of our customers, they want to have um, a really nice website. They want to have really good images, but holy cow, to, to photograph all this stuff and to build all these pages and everything can be really, you know, pretty overwhelming, pretty daunting to do and, and not to mention extremely expensive. So JDS has built a whole bunch of retail um, tools, these catalogs and these websites. And that's to, to help our customers market into these, these areas and really be able to expand their digital footprint and have beautiful brochures. So let's go to, I think Jerrica is doing this, uh, going to do this video. So let's, uh, let's watch the video and then we'll come back together for some questions. Hi, I'm Jerrica, the Graphic Design Manager here at JDS Industries. I'm here to tell you about the retail catalogs and websites JDS has made available for you. These resources will help you reach more customers, and successfully grow your business. Let's take a look. A total of eight consumer focused catalogs and their corresponding websites are available. Seven are part of the Premier line. These include personalized gifts, lasered leatherette, crystal and glass, the corporate collection, acrylic awards, sport and academic awards, and custom color, which features items that can be sublimated. 
The eighth catalog and website promotes our line of Polar Camel High Endurance Drinkware. Each catalog and website is private labeled. In other words, this means that they're unbranded. There's no reference to JDS, so you can definitely make these your own. If you're a customer of JDS, you can order these retail catalogs. They start as low as 69 cents per catalog. Go to jdsindustries.com and click into the dealer section. Use the part numbers you see on the screen to place your order. Remember, you can use your sample dollars to purchase these catalogs. To view the Premier websites, go to jdsindustries.com and click on the link labeled Premier Retail Line. All of the websites, except custom color, will display retail prices if you add a slash and the letter P after .com. You can link to any of these retail websites from your site. The great thing about it is that these sites are customizable, so you can put your company name and contact info on it. To learn how, click on the marketing link on the JDS Order website. This brings us to our Retail Marketing Made Easy page. You can find instructions in the how to link details under each retail catalog. Watch the tutorial video or follow the instructions. If you have any questions about our retail catalogs or websites and how you can use them, please give us a call at the number below. Thanks for watching. Awesome. Thanks, Jerrica. Great video. Yeah, this is uh, definitely an area there's a lot involved in this and we've got those YouTube videos on how to link and how to do all that kind of stuff. Um, before I throw it over to you, Jerrica, I did want to say I, I perused a couple of the questions that are coming in. Uh, a couple of people mm -hmm. jumped in just a couple minutes late. I want to just assure everybody, yes, we are going to send all of the uh, webinar information, all of the questions, all of the videos. Everyone that's, that's signed up and into this thing is going to get everything. So if you missed anything at the beginning, you'll be able to watch it. Um, and plus, like I say, we're having more and more questions uh, fly in, which is great. Keep the questions coming because we're going to answer all the questions and send all that, that content as well out to all of our attendees. So um, I had a really good question that just came in. I wanted to see if I could grab it. Um, where is it? As a, da, 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 da. Oh, uh, can we use photos when we're building our website? Uh, hang on while we're putting, yeah. Can, can we use the photos when we're building our website and starting our business? So can you, can you speak to that real briefly, Jerrica? Uh, yes, you can definitely use our photos. Um, so we'll kind of, we, Yvette kind of talked about this when she talked about the images. And so you can download those. Those are PNGs. They can be used for print or for web. Okay, very good. Um, what are some of the other questions that you get um, in relationship to these retail catalogs and websites real commonly? Um, a lot of the questions that we get are, how can my customer order from the website? So although your customer cannot order from these retail websites, uh, they would contact you. So once you customize these websites with your company info, number, email, they'll contact you and place the order and then you would place the order with us as you usually do. Yeah, so when these get set up, what we have people do is, is they set up a button on their website, say click here to see my uh, glass and, and crystal items and click here to see this. So they'll go out, they'll see product and then they collapse back into uh, the dealer website to contact, place orders, all that kind of thing. Um, here, here's a question I get sometimes too is, um, when I'm out there, can I, as a, as a user, if I'm gonna use one of the retail websites, can I pick and choose the products or, or is it kind of more of an all or nothing kind of a kind of an approach? It's all or nothing. So we build these websites for you. Um, if you do want to pick and choose which products you want to do, then that, that's why we have the photos for you. So then you can build and put whatever ones you want in your website. Very good. And but then we, we gotta, have. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Jerrica. Um, but we do have the priced and the non-priced versions. So if you want to send them to the non-priced website, you can definitely do that. Otherwise, we have our prices set at uh, four times your price. Okay. Um, we had a, a really good question came, came in. Um, it's from Brian and it says, are the retail sites mobile friendly? Yes, that is the great thing. They are mobile friendly, desktop and tablet. Okay. Very good. 
-hmm. Sounds good. Well, we're doing great. Got a, got a lot of uh, good questions here and we have more questions coming in again. Please don't hesitate to send in the question if we can't quite get to it because we're going to answer all those on the backside for you all. So we'll be Definitely. sending that out soon. So awesome. Thanks for all that, Jerick. A lot of, lot of stuff in that uh, retail uh, catalog and retail website area for sure. So thanks, Jim. You bet. Uh, next section we're going to jump into is our editable digital flyers. And this is something that has really gotten traction in the last couple of years. People have wanted these digital flyers, but they do want to be able to edit them. They do want to be able to put their own pricing in and stuff. So uh, we're going to jump over and we're going to have John tell us a little bit more about our editable digital flyers in this video. Hi, I'm John, a graphic designer at JDS Industries, here to tell you about digital flyers you can download personalize, and use to promote your business. Let's get started. Go to www.jdsindustries.com. Click on Dealer Login. After you've signed in with your username and password, click on the Marketing tab, located in the gray menu, here. This will take you to the JDS Retail Marketing Made Easy website. Once on Retail Marketing Made Easy, make your way to the editable PDF flyers icon and click on it. JDS provides this convenient link to Exavault, an FTP server that allows you to access editable flyers anytime you wish. For ease of use, we've included a file with instructions. It will be here for you if you need it. You'll also find several PDFs that can be downloaded. They feature different lines of Polar Camel drinkware and personalizable ornaments. You'll also see a folder with flyers specifically designed for fundraisers. Once you find the flyer you want to download, click on the file name. It will begin downloading automatically. For some of you, the file will automatically open with Adobe Acrobat Reader. If it doesn't, that is the program we'll want to use. The areas of the flyer you can edit are highlighted. To edit the flyers, click on the highlighted text. Add your retail price, business name, and contact information. If there is information you wish to remove from the flyer, Simply select the text and delete it. When you're done, save the flyer to your computer or network. The flyer is now ready for you to use. Print it, mail it, email it, share it on social media, whatever works best for you and your business. JDS strives to make marketing easier for you, and we hope the editable digital flyers will help you successfully promote your business and sell more products. If you don't have a login to our website, call the number below We'll walk you through the quick and easy process of opening an account. Thanks for watching. Excellent. Thanks, John. Another good video. Again, um, lots inside of here. There, there are a number of these um, editable flyers that we have built already, and we are uh, constantly listening to our customers and finding out other ones that they want us to do. We actually had a meeting last week where we walked through um, uh, several sections of the catalog, and we're kind of looking at, you know, where else could we help people with these? So. Um, the questions keep pouring in. That's great. Please keep the questions coming, even as we're rolling. I know I just read a couple of really good questions about the um, about the retail websites, uh, but we'll get, like I say, back to you with those answers. But um, John, on on the the edible flyers, what are some of the questions that you've been getting after you've built this for everybody? What what are some of the things people are asking? Sure thing, Dan. Um, <clears throat> does the uh, flyer come in a different format other than PDF? Uh, it does not. Uh, it only comes in the PDF format. Uh, and like I said before, that can be uh, edited and viewed using Adobe Acrobat. And uh, if you have Adobe Illustrator, that's also a good uh, program to use as well. Great. Um, I see a question just popped in here. Someone's asking, can I put my logo on that flyer? Yep, you absolutely can. Uh, using Again, using a, a program like Adobe Illustrator, you can uh, open up the file in there and you can uh, move pieces out, you can add components in, you can take products out, and you can add different products as well from our uh, image library. Okay, so the, the, like the one that we're looking at right there, the full color um, aluminum ornaments, if somebody, you know, maybe they felt that was a little too busy, they wanted to pull a couple of those out, they can kind of rearrange and play with that. They sure can, yep. Oh, awesome. And, and then um, how are they doing that? If that comes to them in a PDF, uh, typically how would they do that? Yeah, so what you do is you take your uh, PDF, download it from our uh, site, and then uh, just open it up in Illustrator. Uh, Illustrator uh, is a pretty easy uh, program to use if you uh, have had experience with edit, uh, image editing in the past. But yeah, you open it up and you'll see a series of layers and you can go through and delete some of those layers or turn them off and add your own products. 
Awesome. Very good. All right, John, thank you very much for that. Those have, uh, those have been great additions to our, uh, our uh, toolbox for our customers. And uh, I know people are, have been using them, people that are into these, and especially a lot of people are having a lot of fun with these because they're, um, they're using them to get themselves more active on the social side of the world and social media. And I know these work well for that too. Mm. Sounds good. We're going to head into our fifth and final section of this already. Time is flying. And this is our fundraising brochures. And this is something that... Uh, uh, GDS had a few years ago that uh, was well received and so we um, kind of during this pandemic when we've had a little bit more time on our hands uh, we've dug back into some of these projects and we really freshen this up and really made it much more uh, user friendly so we're going to go to back to Yvette on this one and watch the video and then we'll come together for some questions. Hi I'm Yvette senior graphic designer at JDS Industries here to tell you about our free fundraising program to help you and your customers sell more products. Let's get started. Go to JDSIndustries.com and click on the dealer login. After you have entered your username and password, click on marketing. You can use the link at the top of the page or the button here. Either one will take you to the same place. Scroll down to the fundraising program box in the lower left corner and click on it. Here you will be able to browse through and download the flyers and customizable order forms that would work best for you. Not quite sure how everything works? You will also find an instructional video and flyer located at the bottom of the page explaining how the program works. On this page, you will also notice you can download the product images to use for your marketing needs. If you prefer to download all the items at once, you can find them on our Exabal image site. Simply click on the product image template box in the middle of the top row. This will take you to the JDS Exavault image site. To log in, use the username and password provided in the box. Once you're there, find and click on the Fundraiser Program Resources folder. Here you'll find folders with product images plus customizable order forms and flyers, all in one spot free for you to download and use. Next, click on the blue box with the white arrow to see the download icon. You will notice there are other tools available such as Get Info, Share, or Send if you choose to explore them. We hope these free tools and resources will help you help your customers reach more people, sell more products, and ultimately raise more money for their school, team, or group. If you don't have a login to our website, call the number below. We will gladly walk you through the quick and easy process of opening an account. Thanks for watching. All right, Yvette, thanks for that. Another good video. Um, yeah, the fundraising thing has really been interesting. We've had a number of customers that have really um, latched onto this and have made it part of their marketing now through this pandemic as these, um, as these uh, kids are heading back into their events and back into their uh, their schools and their club teams and all that kind of stuff, you know, budgets are tight and there, it's just such an uneasy time uh, for sure. So the the fundraiser brochures and these tools that you've made of that are, are really going to help people. Um, what are some questions you've been fielding from people that have been using these? Um, we've had several questions, especially on the order forms, if these documents come in a different file format other than PDF. And unfortunately, they don't. Um, we had some questions if the order forms came in an Excel file, um, and they don't. We just have them in the PDF format so that they are form fillable. Um, so yes, PDF is the only format that we have in those files currently. Okay. Um, and in this world, then, is it possible for people like we see this this water bottle one here um, is it possible for them to adjust how many products they're offering or how, do, how would they go about customizing something like that um, if they wanted to take the flyer and take it into say Illustrator Adobe Illustrator and modify it um, or create their own flyer by downloading um, our images off of our image site um, they can sure do that. Um, so it would basically be creating their own um, form and um, flyer, basically. All right. Otherwise, they're, they would just utilize what we have. Gotcha. So it can just be kind of plug and play and use what's there, or if they want to go through the effort, they can, they can do a little, little more customization on that. Correct. All right. Very good. Awesome. Thanks, Yvette. 
Um, yeah, this is, is, again, just another way that JDS tries to listen to our customers, uh, tries to hear, uh, unfortunately, recently some of your pain and uh, some of the difficulty of orders that used to come in that aren't coming in. And these are great tools to go out, not just the fundraiser, but really all of these, um, these five tools that we talked about are all different ways for people to um, kind of think of their business a little differently, pivot a little bit, kind of put some emphasis in some different areas where maybe they haven't before. So um, this is great. That was our final video. And so uh, we're going to kind of wrap up here. I uh, certainly want to thank everybody for their time that they spent with us. I want to re remind you the webinar recording uh, is going to come out to everybody very soon. Uh, the summary of the questions and answers. Again, I still see questions popping in and I apologize that we didn't take every question. They're all good questions, but we will get all the questions and all the answers uh, sent out. If you do have uh, any follow-up questions, you can always call us at the 800 number and get connected to our graphics team and we can help you, um, help you get started in that. Um, like I say, the, when, when you see this stuff coming out, and like I say, we're gonna be sending you the recording and everything, um, I'm really gonna challenge everybody when they get that to really kind of think about trying to take the next one or two steps with a couple of these tools. Um, there might be something that really kind of spoke to you, whether it's the fundraisers or, or whether it's one of the other um, tools that we talked about, and, and really make a concerted effort as you go through the, the tail end of this year to try and do something a little different. You know, it's, it's great to kind of gain the knowledge, but at the same time to really implement that would be, um, would be really a, a nice step forward for your business. So um, in closing, like I said, we do have one final poll question that we wanted to throw up. And as you said, in the future, would you like to see more webinars in GDS? So um, again, we end up with a lot of, of um, opportunity to interact with customers when we're doing the trade show circuit and we get to see and everybody and talk to them and that kind of a thing. But by responding to this, you're really helping us understand where, where we can put our resources if we're not going to be doing the, the trade shows, what we can do to kind of help you guys out. So um, also never hesitate to, uh, to get a hold of, of myself here at JDS or anyone in the graphics team or even at the customer service level and say, hey, I'd like to see a webinar on this topic. So really appreciate this. Been, um, uh, it, it's been both fun and, and a little different. I, you know, I really like interacting with customers and, and seeing them face to face. It's a little, little, you know, kind of more boring, kind of just me talking the whole time. But hopefully everybody got something out of this, uh, something you can use in your business. We'd love to connect with you. If you have any questions at all, please reach out and uh, have a good day and a good week. Remember, now, Halloween is a Saturday and it's gonna be a full moon and it's also gonna be a blue moon. So if you don't know what a blue moon is, you have to look that up. But Saturday, full moon, everybody stay safe on Halloween and have a lot of fun and let us know how we can help you. Thank you for joining.